All right, so let's take a look at the finished product, shall we? Now, I am going to change my timing a little bit. This is the first time I've done this. So when, uh, when I put it in the oven, I had it at 350 degrees after pan searing, okay, with the crust on, of course. And then I flipped it after six minutes. I flipped each piece, okay? And so I needed to give them a little bit longer to, to cook all the way through because these are really thick pieces of salmon. I mean, they're like nice little nice little sandwich steaks, okay? So, um, so I flipped them over and then I gave them an extra five minutes at 350 degrees. Absolutely perfect. Take a look at this, okay? Now you tell me if that's not a beautiful piece of salmon right there. I don't know about you, but I am so hungry right now. All right, so with this, I'm about to make some brown rice. You know, I keep it kind of simple when it uh, I keep it kind of simple when it comes to my carbs. Obviously, I don't need simple carbs. I'm eating complex carbs, but I keep it simple, stupid. So uh, I'm just gonna make me some brown rice to go with this. Uh, maybe get some sweet potatoes. That would be excellent. Now, one thing I like to do with sweet potatoes is, um, well, you know what? I'll save that for another video. You guys have a great rest of your night. That is. Um, mozzarella oatmeal crusted salmon hope you have a wonderful night try it sometime Mwah, it's amazing